Ever since humans first started mapping the world, they've needed a way to communicate their locations to others. Now, there wasn't really a standard for how to do this until the Middle Ages, when most nations began using the latitude and longitude system to both pinpoint their location and to divide the world into more manageable chunks for mapping. This remained the universal standard until about the 1940s, when the United States Army Corps of Engineers developed the Universal Transverse Mercator System. Both latitude, longitude, and the UTM system are still widely used today. We're going to show you both of these systems because they both have their advantages and disadvantages. Latitude, longitude can be kind of cumbersome to talk about and to communicate with other people, but sometimes UTMs require an additional piece of equipment to pinpoint accurately. You might need both of these, however, if you're communicating your location to an outside source or if you're using your GPS device. Latitude and longitude is still used by pilots, sailors, backcountry travelers, and Google. When you communicate your location using latitude longitude, it can be kind of long and sound complicated, but the basics are pretty simple. Lines of latitude run east-west across the Earth parallel to the equator. Lines of longitude run north-south up and down the Earth perpendicular with the equator. I remember this because lines of latitude running across the Earth have a T, and the T's got a cross in it. Longitude is a long line going up and down. Lines of latitude are evenly spaced up and down the Earth and are used to determine your location in a north-south direction. Your longitudinal lines, or meridians, are not really evenly spaced because as you get closer to the poles, the lines get closer together. Your location, when communicated using the latitude-longitude system, is going to be expressed in a degrees, minutes, and seconds format. One degree equals 60 minutes, and 60 seconds equals one minute. The location of your quad is going to be expressed in latitude-longitude format on each of the four corners. If you need to get more specific within your quad, there are tick marks alongside each of the margins to help you get a specific location within the map itself. Because lines of longitude get closer together as you reach the poles, the Universal Transverse Mercator System accounts for this. It's created 60 evenly spaced zones running north to south. We then use the already evenly spaced latitudinal lines to divide these 60 zones into grids. We further subdivide these grids into squares, each one representing one square kilometer of the planet Earth. On the upper right corner and the lower left corner of your map, you will see the UTM coordinates of this map. UTM coordinates are expressed as easting and northing values. And then just like latitude, longitude, there are tick marks on the outside edges of your map to help you get more specific. When you're first starting out communicating your location using the Universal Transverse Mercator system, it can be really handy to carry a separate UTM grid reader. Coordinate systems can seem really confusing at first. The important thing to remember is that they're great to communicate your location to an outside source or to follow somebody else's coordinates to get to their super secret campsite. <laughs>